Welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the navigation menu of the using HTML. So let's um, open Visual Studio Code and create a new file. We can place this file inside a new folder and we can call it as Lecture 3 Navigation Menu. In this, we will create an index.html file so uh, and because this file is created and now what we can do is we can open this file and op inside our browser when we click it it will open the browser and now we can see index html over here it's empty right now so let's write some code and if we say save it and refresh then we can say we can see our output over here so let's get started we will start with the html and yeah, we all knows that inside the html we have two major things one is called head in the head we write the css of our and javascripts and then we have body in the head we also have one more thing which is called title and to show the title over here instead of the file name so we can call it as uh, navigation menu when we save it and refresh we can see the title is changed over here in the body we can create a heading tag and inside that we can write the navigation menu tutorial and we save and refresh now we can see over here that uh, it's showing us the navigation menu tutorial now uh, when we create it so so last time what we learned was that about the uh, ul i am and now we will make use of that ul before that we can write that in this tutorial we will learn to create uh, navigation menu using unordered lists we see we can save it and we refresh so it is showing us the paragraph we just wrote then in the unordered list we all know that uh, we have list items and we can call it for example if we are creating a list for a school and then we can add the menu for that school so we can call it for example uh, home and we refresh it and we can see over this here the home then we can add few more list items like we can call it as admissions if we refresh then we can see over here the admissions similarly let's add few more for example we have students in the schools so we want that to show on the website then we may have a community in the school and similarly adding few more examples uh, like about us and in the end we can have a menu saying contact us and if i save it now i can see over here our menu but we need a horizontal uh, navigation bar over here so first thing is we don't need this uh, these bullets uh, the types of the menus so in the head we can start writing about the style of our page in the style tag so basically our ul have this uh, list style type as uh, circles right now so in the so what we will write here is ul ul means this list and in this ul we uh, we can add list style type instead of circle we will add none and then we save it and if we refresh it then we can see over here that that uh, list style type circle is removed now then we can see over this also have a margin from the body which is default settings of the browser so what we can do is we can uh, make the margin as zero and also the padding which is the default browser settings to zero and then we refresh and now it has removed the padding and margin uh, of the screen then we can add a background color we can for example add if we add a background black then it will make all the color black 
but we have words over there which is actually the lee of uh, the items so let's put it uh, any other color for now and then later we can change according to our plan so let's put it uh, blur word for now then you can see is uh, it has a full width over here and also right now the list items are coming in a vertical way but we need those in an horizontal way so for that items so one more thing we need is to click off those items to make those clicks we need uh, a tag i mean a a link tag to make it a clickable uh, menu so what we can say it is a href is uh, is the referral tag from where we want to go but right now we want to stay on the same page so for example we can just call it as id home then we refresh it and now we can see it that link is made over here so similarly we need to add links to all of our pages obviously we will not have same id for everyone so we will have different pages uh, for each link so we can change their hrefs accordingly so this way we can make the links inside the list as well so when we save it and refresh now you can see it okay sorry now the links should be inside the anchor tag here now after that we will save it and then refresh and see how it respond yes now we can see the links then we also see the under now we can click on it because and see the id over here because we have not handling the id right now so that's why it's showing on the page in same in same way right now then let's move forward then we need to do some styling of our uh, list items so first thing we can do is we need to make our list items on a horizontal path so we can say it as float left through float left now we can see our items are in an horizontal way so float left what it do is it makes the item to the left so automatically the next item becomes in that line and then similar for all the items recursively then because we have inside the list we have an anchor anchor tag and we see some unnecessary things here uh, like for example we have an underscore which we do need so we can it make its text uh, decoration to none and save and then we can see over here that underline is removed also then what we can do is now it's those are merged together which is not a good sign so what we can do is we can add some uh, padding to it for example we add 15 pixel padding and now we can see is uh, it's in a much better uh, view then to make it more uh, attractive like we can add a display block section so it will be those those uh, th this will make them in a blocks so when we will add a hover or a active background then it will make it more attractive so this way we can make a menu to a proper way so like if what is hover hover means when we uh, hover on a on a menu it changes background so if we add a list i a hover functionality and in that hover we say okay what we want to do is we want to change its background color to red so when we hover on it it's changing now the background color to red so yes this is the hover uh, functionality of our item it's showing in the blocks now as you can see right now as well 
then what we can do is we can add an active class uh, the active class we can create active class over here active classes we can make one menu active by default for example uh, we can also say okay the background should be red color of the active it will not affect until we apply a class to a specific menu so for example we uh, apply this class to our first menu now you can see it's active and it's showing over there similarly then uh, then we have uh, a one more functionality uh, attribute of overflow hidden which actually makes its uh, a full width icon full width uh, menu bar by removing its scrolling functionality so then we can now we can see the background color over here which was which we put last time like this now now we can change it to black because now we can change the text colors of our links as well so what we will we can do is of the list items we can say color to white now if we refresh now we can see our a menu bar on a full page accordingly one more thing we can do is if we for example want to bring this menu bar items on the right side then we can do that as well how we will do is because we know that we have a functionality um, in the css of making style and now what we can do is we can float this item to the right side and then we refresh it so it will automatically come to the right side similarly if we want to bring one more item on the right side then we can make it same way and refresh it will become uh, it should come to right side as well okay it's about us so if we check on on or all code so we will may be missing something so we said okay margin background overflow is hidden okay fine float left text decoration okay and then we have padding display background color about us there must be some issue okay about us float sorry okay it should be right it should not be left <laughs> okay so it becomes on the right side now so yes so this is how you make the menu and you apply css on the menu so as a assignment what you guys can do is uh, you can make this menu on so what you can do is you can create this menu with different background colors different uh, styles and uh, it's almost same menu with items but with different uh, backgrounds so good luck with the assignment we, in the next tutorial we will learn about tables